What's up guys, this is Sifu. Um, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to um, install the Seamless Elden Ring uh, co-op mod. That way you could play seamlessly with your friends without having to deal with the struggles of using uh, regular based souls type summons. Um, this is just a lot easier if you do it this way. Uh, so we'll get right into it. Really, all you need to do is go to Nexus Mods, manually install it on the Seamless Co-op section. It pulls up really easily um, when you are looking at Elden Ring. Slow download it. Um, sometimes it flags the download, but the download is it's safe, so you send it through. Um, download it. Once you download it, you have to extract it. Once it's extracted, it'll look a little something like this. Um, all you have to do with these is come to the, uh, your library, right click, manage, browse your local files, go into the game files here, and all you're going to do is just take these, mine are already in here, but you just highlight, drag them in. I'm not going to do that because I already got a copy, but once they're in here, you just got to um, click on, they kind of separate here, but you go to Seamless Co-op, and you go to Seamless Co-op settings, it'll open a notepad tab here, uh, and all you do, right here, I already have a password, but it says right here uh, that you have to have a space after the equals, so you got a space here, you type your password in, one, two, three, four, five, uh, obviously I was holding shift there, but you type that your password in as long as Imagine your password here. Um, it'll be pretty straightforward. Uh, you got matching passwords. You can summon each other. And that's really about it. Um, way to launch the... Oh, you have to save, by the way, when you exit that. So if I go back in, it's not going to be saved because I did not save it. Um, so you have to make sure you file save. Um, but then all you have to do to open it... Oh, is Click on the launch seamless Elden Ring. I like to add it as a shortcut here. Just to make things easier. You can rename it to whatever you want, but I'll just leave it as the name. I mean you can tell based off the picture here what it is, so I know just by looking at it. Alright, so once you're in, you know, press your buttons here. You're gonna have a few extra pop-ups than usual. Um don't mind them. Just kinda letting you know you got the right shit here. Um there's extra steps to take if you want to run builds that you already have. Um, I never did that uh, just because I like to keep them separate. Unmodded builds versus modded builds. So uh, if you like to do that, you just hit new game. Make a new build. Um, you don't want to do it that way. There's plenty of videos out there on how to do it. I'll probably be making a video on how to add your, low or your uh, other builds in. Um, here in the future but as of now when you hit load game if you haven't done it yet it won't be there um we'll hop in there and we'll uh you know we'll show you how to get people summoned in all right so once you are in um i think in the actual seamless thing you'll have to read through the nexus mod description to to be for sure i think they recommend you get to the first side of grace before you try summoning um, but I would look, I would look into that. I'm not hundred percent sure, but once you are in and you're all loaded into your new build, you'll have these, uh, new things here. You'll have the effigy of Melania and you'll have this separation mist, this tiny great pot this effigy right here. will let you join another wanderer that has the same password as you, uh, which I showed you earlier. Um, and I believe this tiny great pot is how you open your world. So, um, it depends on which world you want to play on. If you're going to play on your buddies, you have your buddy use the tiny great pot. You pop the effigy while having the same password. You'll be able to load right in. Um, if you want it the other way around, you'll pop the tiny great pot. You have your buddy pop the effigy. Same password gets you right in. Um, and then it'll be, you know... All fun and games there. If you want to leave, they've got the separation mist here. It lets you withdraw from the world. 
Uh, but sometimes we, uh, me and my buddy run into issues, um, just like connection issues. And sometimes it's best if you're having a connection issue to separate uh, and then just pop back in the world. Uh, they also have this rune decanter, which lets you consume runes for power, almost like a rune arc. Um, I haven't used that. I think my buddy uses it. He hasn't, I haven't heard him say anything bad about it. So, I mean, if you, if that's what you're into, go for it. All right, and so that is how you go ahead and install Seamless Co-op. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Obviously, this is one of my first, uh, you know, tutorials. So leave a leave constructive criticism in the comments below. Um, let me know if I need to be more straight to the point, if I need to explain a little more. Um, and uh, I guess you guys all have fun playing with your uh, your friends on Seamless and getting ready for that uh, that DLC. Peace.